Gilso Gutierrez from Mexico and Blue, Alexi Denisenko from the Grand Prix series from Samson and Turkey. Again, I congratulate the Turkish Take One Federation for a great match. Of course, the start is what I expect, maybe a bit of a shin block there. The referee definitely falls on, gives a warning against Denisenko. Looks like you can see Denisenko maybe attacking more. So Gutierrez just playing the counter game so far. Registered again there with that hook to the body. Now it's actually Denisenko scores a counter kick against Gutierrez as he moves in. We've seen it so far. Referee wants more action. Gutierrez puts him beneath, hooking up to the body pad. Denisenko tries a twist kick off the front leg, stepping in. The back of each PSS in protector is a transmitter. The system will cut out if either of those transmitters are not working. Referee's asking, do we need to do a check? We don't. So, back in direction. 30 seconds left in this first round. So, Gutierrez goes up there for the headshot. Oh, excellent move by Denisenko. Great combination, the second kick hit in the head. Goes straight back into this match, does it again. Couldn't too pleased there, but must be quite pleased that he didn't let this first round end with a big point gap. Not too much action, just very much tit for tat until the last closing seconds. And then two incredible headshots. Then we see Gutierrez, first one. Pushes through. Evet. Çok moves in. There's his double kick. The second one hits in the head. You see that again. Cuts the body. That one doesn't register, but the headshot does. By Denisenko. Let's hope we see a little bit more of that in the second round. It's a tremendous final match in Chelabins between Denisenko and Tazigal. Hoping to step up for this one as well. But yeah, it's a very different type of opponent. He's off the back leg, does that double again, this time stumbles over. Zenko gets the second warning, so that's another point for Gutierrez. Apparently fast way that Zenko does those kicking combinations. 
Wow. He's a more dynamic athlete. He tends to match the pace of his opponent rather than setting the pace like somebody like Tazagul does. Gets the point back there from the front leg check. Happy about the holding there. On the referee's blind side, referee doesn't see it. Good warning there for Gutierrez, as he's going to touch the floor. Now this holds a feet, allowed to touch the floor. Anything more than that is a warning. Sinko trying now in short bursts. So he does tend to match the pace of his opponent. So as he's facing Gutierrez, who's a very cautious KG athlete. Gensenko just tries at that same pace, but now he's brought the tie the score back. It's all tied at six apiece. It's Densenko trying to go up for the headshot. Well deserved by Densenko. The Gutierrez gets a warning. So the game change, the game changer with that headshot, the second warning. Puts Densenko ahead. Right now, with this style of play, we would like to see Denisenko taking this title. Gutierrez stepped up in the last round in most of his qualifying matches, so I think we do see the same here. sit down. Keep on his feet. Nice That's the headshot. Good headshot, good combination moves. Again, it's like to see the kick to the body. And then rather than the foot going down, he moves it again, kick up to the head. Leading, which is the first out. Gutierrez started to be a bit more proactive in this last round, looking for the headshot there. Hooks up the body into the face and gets it. Let's give Gutierrez credit for his timing. On the counter, especially. Most of his points are scored on the counter. Zinko checks and gets another one. He has started to be a bit more proactive on his attacks. Not too convincing, though. Zinko just being a little bit more mobile. Gutierrez chair is matching him. A minute left. If we wanted to make a mistake, it's two points, it's not a massive margin at this stage. Josenko won't be looking to attack because he doesn't want to get caught on the way in. He needs a counter kick to Gutierrez there. He gets it, so it's three points difference now. So the pressure starting to mount on Gutierrez. Second left referee wants more activity. It's Gutierrez who starts that. Still got out of range. Gensenko might play the spoiling game. Can't go. Make a difference in the score yet. So, just in less than 20 seconds, will Gensenko play or will spoil? He's got some back. He's real fast now. Back. Keeps working, nice combination there. Gets a ball in for Jorge Lach, a little bit harsh. I don't think he went out the court, but his coach didn't think so either, so he's played a, a video review card. I'm a bit surprised with that at this stage with just so few seconds on the clock. I think I'd have been tempted to let it play out, truthfully, but 
The coach said no, he wasn't involved in the match. He didn't go out of the contest area. The, the Congo was incorrect. From my angle, I think he was right, but I wouldn't have played the card if I'd been his coach for just three seconds on the clock. And it being the first Congo. That's the third Congo, so it wouldn't have made this not impacted. So I'm sure even if he's right, all that does is give Gutierrez time to compose himself, get some coaching. And extend the course of this match. It's rejected, so he stands anyway. So Gutierrez and Gutierrez and Senko straight out there, probably going to get a gamble for that. No, it's a Congo, going out of the contest area. Does it again, but that doesn't matter. Alexi Derisenko wins the final. The minus 68 kilogram Olympic division at the World Taekwondo Series 2 Grand Prix here in Samsung, Turkey. So that might have saved your competition. Two great results for Alexi Denisenko and Jay Jones and Gerber to receive gold medals today and bring our competition to an end. So next up is Manchester next month on the 16th and 18th of October at the Sports Centre in Sports City, Manchester.